Alrighty, my friends, we're going to evaluate the integral of e to the negative tx sine of x from 0 to infinity, and it's going to be awesome. This is a sneaky integral. It's a sneaky integral, and we're going to do it using the most popular method, integration by parts. This isn't my favorite way to do this integral. There's a much faster, better way that I think, but check out this method, the common way, and then check out the other method that I prefer, and you can decide which one that you like better. Okay, so we're gonna set u equal to e to the negative tx, and then dv to everything else, sine of x dx. If we take the derivative, du equals negative t e to the negative tx. If we integrate to solve for v, we get negative cos x. So we'll take these and plug them into the integration by parts formula for our integral, which gives us this, so i t is what we're trying to solve for, equals u times v, so this is u times v with the negative evaluated from 0 to infinity minus the integral of v cosine uh, x du, v du, t e to the negative tx. And these two negatives cancel to make it positive. I brought this minus sign inside the integral because it's going to make it easier to deal with negative signs later. Okay, to evaluate this term right here, we look at the limit as x goes to infinity, which is 0 right here on this side because this is 0 right here, and at x equals zero, and cos of zero is one. So this becomes negative one, but then we have this negative right here, making this whole term positive one, which is kind of cool. So the integral that we're trying to evaluate is one plus this integral right here. And now, this doesn't look like it helped us, does it? <laughs> Looks like it made things worse, actually. We now have a t in front, although t is just like a number, like a constant, uh, but we just changed a sine x for a cosine x. So it doesn't look like it, it helped us. And here's the sneaky part. We're going to do integration by parts again. So we'll set u equal to negative t e to the negative tx, this part right here, and then dv to the other stuff, so cos x dx. We're going to take the derivative to get du equals to t squared e to the negative tx, because the negatives cancel, and integrate dv to get v equals to sine of x. And if we plug this into our integration by parts formula, we get the integral that we're trying to solve for equals 1. So this 1 is this one right here. Now we've got to do plus uv and uv are these two multiplied together right here. Here's our negative sign evaluated from zero to infinity minus the integral of v, which is sine of x, du. And du is this t squared e to the negative tx right here. And I'm gonna do a few things at once. I hope that's okay. It's, it's not too bad. We're just gonna sub back what i of t is. So this integral, we're just gonna put this integral in right here. So just subbing that in. This second term becomes zero. So if we evaluate it the same way we did here in the limit as x goes to infinity, it goes to zero and sine of x is zero. So this is zero, that's cool. And this third term, gonna keep it as it is, except this t squared, I'm gonna bring it outside the integral. And I can do that because we're not integrating with respect to t, we're integrating with respect to x and t is like a constant, so that's coming out. So if we do those three things, here's our substitution here on the left. Uh, this is zero, so this term is gone, and I brought the t squared out of the integral, just like that. Okay, and if you look at this, this is what's so cool about it. This integral is the same as this integral, which is the one that we're trying to solve for. So we'll combine the terms, we'll transpose this to the other side, so that there's now one plus t squared of it equals one on the other side, and then to solve for our integral, we'll divide by one plus t squared to give us, in all its glory, <laughs> You can plug in any t. t can be, it can be any number you want. There is another easier and faster way to do this integral that I love a lot more. You've got to check it out. At any rate, good luck on your midterms, final exams, all that stuff. Integrals are not easy to learn, but the more you do, the better you'll get.